Let me introduce you to Scratch Programming, a very interesting software for creating games and animation. Let us first start with program and programming language. In our daily life, we perform many tasks from dawn to dusk. Any task that we perform includes various steps. We complete it step by step in a particular sequence. Ok students, let's learn it with an example. Suppose a teacher asks Kabi to bring notebooks of his class from the computer lab. Since he is new in the school, so she guides him the way to reach to the computer lab. She gives instructions to Kabir in the following manner. Move left from the class and go straight. After leaving five classes, take a right turn. Move forward and after leaving six classes, take left turn. After leaving three classes, you will reach to the computer lab. Likewise, a computer follows stepwise instructions to complete any task which is known as program. A program is also called software, which tells the computer what to do. Everything that a computer does from starting up to shutting down is done by a program. Any game that you play in your phone or computer is nothing but a program. Even the viruses written for the computer are programs. The language used to write programs is called programming language and the person who writes these programs is known as programmer. Students, let's know the fact. Scratch can easily run on different operating systems including Windows, Mac, OS and Linux. Ok, let me introduce you to Scratch. Scratch is a computer programming language that lets you create your own interactive stories, animations, games, music and art. Scratch is easy to learn and use. It provides an interactive environment to create programs by dragging blocks of code. Ok students, let us understand how to start Scratch. To start Scratch, follow the steps given below. Click on Start button. Choose All Programs. Click on Scratch 2. Scratch window opens. Alright, let's know an interesting fact. Scratch is developed by the lifelong kindergarten group at the MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Media Lab, led by Mitzel Resnick in 2003. Let's learn about main components of Scratch. Sprite Sprite is a small graphic character that performs actions in a Scratch project. Scratch provides a number of inbuilt sprites. Cat is the default sprite in Scratch. Stage It is the main working area where the sprite moves and performs actions as per the given instructions. Here you can watch stories play games and run scratch projects that you have created. It is divided into X, Y coordinates. The value of both the coordinates are displayed at the bottom right corner of the stage. These coordinates indicate the position of the sprite on the stage. Sprite list. It displays the thumbnails of all the sprites used in a project. Presentation Mode Presentation Mode or View Full Screen Mode button is located at the top left corner of the stage. Click on the button to view the presentation of your project in full screen mode. Cursor Tools Cursor Tools are located at the top of the scratch window. It provides four tools to perform different operations on sprites. Duplicate this option creates a duplicate copy of the selected sprite. Delete. Clicking this option will delete the selected sprite. Grow. As the name suggests, this option helps us to increase the size of the sprite. Shrink. This option helps to decrease the size of the sprite. Sprite Info Pane. Click on the icon present on the top left corner of a sprite thumbnail to display the sprite info pane. 
It includes information about the selected sprite as well as a few tools manipulating the sprite. The tools include circular arrow, linear arrow, disable rotation. New sprite buttons. The new sprite buttons are placed at the bottom right corner of the stage. These buttons provide different ways to create a new sprite. Import and use the available sprites. Let us discuss each one of these. Number 1. Choose Sprite from Library Scratch contains many exciting inbuilt sprite options. Clicking on this button will open a Sprite Library dialog box, which gives you multiple options of sprites. Number 2. Paint New Sprite Clicking on this button will open the Costumes window, where you can create or draw a new sprite. Number 3. Upload Sprite from File Clicking this button will open the Select Files to Upload by App colon slash scratch dot swf dialog box that offers a facility to choose Sprite from the files stored in your computer system. Number 4. New Sprite from Camera This option opens the web camera of your system provided your system is equipped with it. Blocks Palette Blocks Palette contains the set of blocks which are used to program the sprite and give actions to it. Each block performs specific tasks in a project. It is used to create scripts in Scratch. The blocks connect to each other just like a jigsaw puzzle. Let's know an interesting fact. The official website of Scratch is www.scratch.mit.edu. Script Script is a collection of stepwise instructions that are given to a sprite to do a specific task. A script consists of at least two blocks. Scripts area Scripts area is the place where you create a script to do a particular task. The script is created by dragging the instructions from the blocks palette and dropping them stepwise on top of each other. A script is also called a program. Let us learn how to drag and drop the blocks on the script area. Students, let us know the fact. Scratch is used in more than 150 countries and available in 40 different languages. Okay, students, let us understand how to create a new sprite using a paint editor. Click on the Paint New Sprite button. The Costumes window appears where you can draw and paint your own sprite. Use the bitmap tools to draw a sprite. The new sprite appears on the stage and gets added to the sprite list. You can drag and move the sprite to a desired position on the stage. You can use the zoom buttons to increase or decrease the size of the sprite. To import a sprite, Click on the Import button in the Costumes window. The Select Files to Upload by app colon slash scratch dot swf dialog box appears. Select a file from the desired location and click on the Open button. The sprite will be added on the stage. Let me tell you how to save a sprite. To save a sprite, follow the given steps. Click on the File tab and select the Save option. The Save Project dialog box will appear. Choose the location and type the desired file name in the File Name text box. Click on the Save button. Let's quickly learn about moving a sprite. 
all the instructions related to the movement of sprite are given under the motion block menu. Create your first scratch project to move the sprite in circular motion. Open the scratch window. Click on the move 10 steps block and drag it to the script area. Change the step number from 10 to 20 by typing in the number box. Click on the block. You will notice that the sprite moves the specified number of steps. Click on the turn 15 degrees block. Now drag and drop it on the script area. Place it below the move 20 steps block. Keep clicking on any block in the script area. Observe that the sprite is moving 20 steps forward and turning 15 degrees in a circular motion on the stage. Know about motion blocks. Let us understand the use of motion blocks which we have used in the project. Move 20 steps. This block moves the sprite 20 steps in forward direction. To move the sprite in backward direction, type the number with the preceding minus sign. For example, minus 20. Turn 15 degrees. This block is used to turn the sprite in clockwise direction. To turn the sprite in anti-clockwise direction, use turn 15 degrees block. Let's learn the most interesting topic, drawing a colorful circle. The blocks in the pen block menu allow the sprite to draw lines on the stage. Change the color and thickness of lines. Let us add some more blocks to the previous scratch project. Observe the movement of the sprite on the stage. Click on the pen block menu. Select the pen down block from the pen block palette. Drag out the block and place it underneath the turn 15 degrees block. Now click and pull the set pen size to one block onto the script area. Place it below the pen down block. Change the value 1 to 10. Drag out the change pen color by 10 blocks from the pen block palette and drop it at the end. Change the value from 10 to 20. Keep clicking on any of the blocks in the script area till the sprite completes its colorful circle. Students, let's know more. Stop button is placed on the top right corner of the stage. It is red in color and is used to stop the project at any time during execution. Students, let's know more. Green flag is a tiny icon placed at the top right corner of the stage screen. Clicking on the green flag will run the script step by step. Let's learn about know about pen block. Let us understand the use of pen blocks which we have used in the project. Pen down. This block draws a line as the sprite moves on the stage. Set pen size to 1. This block is used to set the thickness of the pen to a specific number. You can change the thickness of the pen by typing in the number box. Change pen color by 10. To change the color of the pen, use change pen color by 10 block. Let's quickly learn about making a duplicate copy of sprite. To create a duplicate copy of the sprite, the stamp block is used. Drag out the blocks from the motion and pen blocks palette as shown in the figure. Snap the blocks together onto the script area. Change the values of the blocks as shown in the figure. Click on any of the blocks to create the duplicate copy of the sprite. Notice as the sprite reaches to the edge of the stage, it will bounce back and change its direction. Students, note, the if on edge bounce block is in the motion block menu. It is used to turn the sprite in the opposite direction as it reaches to the edge of the stage. Ok students, let us find out how to add sound in Scratch. There are many ways to add sound to your Scratch project. Here we will discuss about the blocks present in the sound block menu that are used to add sound. 
Make the script by dragging out the blocks as shown in the figure and stack them on top of each other. Click on the script to play the project. You will hear different sounds, that is, the sound of a cat, meow, drum beats. Students know more about sound blocks. Play sound meow until done. This block will play the specified sound in the blank box. The script will pause until the sound has finished playing. Play drum 48 for 0 0.2 beats. This block plays a drum sound for a specified number of beats. You can change the drum type by clicking on the drop-down arrow next to the number and the number of beats by changing the value in the box. Let's quickly learn saving a scratch project. Once you finish the project, always save it before closing the scratch window. To save the project, follow the given steps. Click on the file menu in the menu bar. Select the save option from the drop-down list. The Save Project dialog box appears. Choose the desired location where you want to save your scratch project. Assign the name to your project in the file name text box. Click on the Save button. Your scratch project will be saved. You can open it whenever required. Students note that Scratch 2.0 projects are saved with the extension .sp2. Students, let's know more. Scratch 2.0 is the second current major version of Scratch, followed by Scratch 1.4. It features a redesign editor and allows you to edit projects directly from your web browser as well as in an offline editor. It was officially released on May 9, 2013. Alright students, let's quickly learn opening a saved project. To open a saved project, follow the given steps. Click on the File tab. Choose the Open option from the drop-down list. The Open Project dialog box appears. Select the project you want to open. Click on the Open button. The selected project opens in the Scratch window. OK students, let us take a recap of this chapter. A computer understands only a few special languages of its own. These are known as programming languages. Scratch is one of the easiest computer languages. Sprite is a small graphic character that performs actions in a Scratch project. Script is a collection of stepwise instructions that are given to Sprite to do a specific task. Script area is the place where you can create a script to do a particular task. All the instructions related to the movement of Sprite are given under the Motion Block menu. The blocks in the Pen Block menu allow the Sprite to draw lines on the stage, change the color and thickness of lines. Sound Block is used to add sound in the project.